Hi guys and welcome back to our third lesson in our decimals topic. Today we are going to be looking at adding and subtracting with decimals and your learning intention is just the same as the title there. Your success criteria for today is I have been successful if I can line up my digits properly in the correct place value and show all of my working properly. The most important thing that I want you to remember today is we must always line up with the decimal point. So our place value here is super important when adding and subtracting. So for example, we've got 5.6 plus 4.8. Remember, this is not the way that we like to write out our addition and subtraction sums. So I'm gonna start with 5.6. And then the four is one digit in front of my decimal point. So I'm gonna line that up. And then my eight going underneath the six. So you can see that my decimal points are in line. I've only got one digit in front both times. So five over the four and one digit after, so six over the eight. And then it's just a case of adding like I normally would. So six plus eight is 14. So right down the four, carry that one. Not forgetting my decimal point here. I'm drawing it quite big because I feel like it doesn't really show up when I'm writing on the PowerPoint sometimes. And then five plus four is nine, plus that extra one is 10. So zero would line underneath these guys and my one at the start there to give me 10.4 for my answer. Example two, I'm going to have to be careful here because I've got two decimal places in my first number and I've got one decimal place in the second. So this time I've got 1.62 and this time it's 3.5. So my decimal point has to line up. I've only got the three in front and the five after. So the five goes underneath the six, not underneath my two. Because remember that is my tenths. That is my tenths and my hundredths. And then that means that my five is just the tenths column here. Sorry, my pen wasn't working very well there. And then I need to put in my add sign, put in my equal sign, and then we don't like to have anything hanging. So I'm just going to fill in that wee gap with a zero there. Two plus zero is two. Six and five makes 11. So put my one down, carry the one, line up my decimal points. 1 plus 3 is 4 plus another 1 gives me 5. And my answer to be 5.12. For taking away, it is exactly the same procedure. So I'm starting with 24.53. Lining up my decimal point. Well, I've got 1 ten, 1 units, 6 tenths and 2 hundredths. So it should line up nice and neatly like that. My takeaway sign at the start my equal sign underneath. 3 take away 2 is 1. 5 take away 6 I can't do so I need to borrow. Turn that 4 into a 3. Carry that 1 over. 15 take away 6 is 9. Line up my decimal point. 3 take away 1 is 2 and 2 take away 1 is just 1. So my answer for example 3 is 12.91. Here is where a lot of people can go wrong so we're going to be extra careful with this one. I've got 67.4 and we are taking away well 8 is my units so that needs to go underneath my 7 so that my decimal point lines up nice and neatly. My 3 goes under my 4 and then my 9 is by itself at the end there. So if I fill it in my equal sign I want to fill in a 0 above that 9 and maybe fill in a 0 beneath that 6 as well just so nothing is left hanging by itself. For taking away, we always start from the right, but I can't do zero take away nine, so I need to borrow one from my four to make that a three and carry one over to make ten. Ten take away nine is one. Three take away three is nothing. Zero. Uh, my decimal point needs to line up. Seven take away eight I can't do, so I'm going to borrow another one from that six. Seventeen take away eight then is nine. And 5 take away 0 is 5. So 59.01 for my answer there. This time I have no decimal in my first number. But remember 47 is just going to be the same point zero. My 19 point seven. 
add in my equal signs at the bottom. 0 take away 7 I cannot do, so I'm going to borrow 1 from this 7 and make that into a 6 and carry my 1 over. 10 take away 7 then is going to be 3. Line up my decimal point. Oops. 6 take away 9 I can't do, so borrow 1 from my 4. And then 16 take away 9 becomes 7. 3 take away 1 is 2 to give me my final answer of 27.3. Last example for today, guys. Well done with sticking with me so far. My bank account has £134.50. In Asda, I spend £56.75. How much do I have left? So, this time we need to decide, are we adding on or taking away? If I've spent money and I'm looking at my bank account, Spent money gets taken off. It's a deduction. I've removed that money from my account. So really I'm doing 134.50 and we are going to take away my 56.75. So my decimal point needs to line up. I've got 57 in front of it. So 5 goes underneath the 3, 6 goes underneath my 4 and then 7, 5 goes after the decimal point. Fill in my equal sign, and then the same as before. I can't do zero take away five, so that's going to become four. Ten take away five is five. Four take away seven, I can't do, so we're going to borrow one from this four and make that a fourteen. Fourteen take away seven is seven. Line up my decimal point once again. Three take away six, I can't do, so let's make that three a two, and that thirteen becomes eight. And that 3 becomes 13. 13 take away 6 then is 7. I can't do 2 take away 5. So that's a 0. 12 take away 5 is 7. And maybe some of you did 0 take away 0 at the end for 0. If you didn't put that in, that's okay. And then because it's money that we're talking about, I'm just going to finish off by saying that we had £77.75 and pence for my final answer. Okay, really well done with today's lesson guys. Again, I've used the chilli rating, so the more chillies, the harder the questions are. For every question here, I would expect to see your working laid out, just like in question 3 down here. For questions like 4, 5, 6, where there are units, I would expect to see them, so pounds, if there's any metres, any centimetres. And as the questions get harder, you have to decide, are you adding or subtracting? Questions 8, 9, 10 and 11 are just a wee bit trickier. That's why they're under the hot rating. But I still think that we could give them a go. If you're not sure, take a guess. These questions are all either adding or subtracting. Again, I just need you to try your best. Any problems, get in touch with me through our Teams group and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. See you in the next lesson.